Hello! In this video, we are going to practice using there was and there were. This is a practice lesson, right? The objective is to use there was and there were in the description of places we are familiar with. So we are going to use there was and there were to describe a place that you know that we are familiar with, right? Remember that so far we have studied when we use there was and there were, we use there was for singular and there were for plural, and it is the same rules that apply to there is and there are in the present form. Let's keep that in, in mind. Uh, for questions, we use the auxiliary before there, and for negations, we use the word not after the auxiliary. We studied some quantifiers with much, many, little, few uh, numbers, etc. And uh, we emphasized what the questions uh, could look like when we are using was there or there was and there were. All right. We used these forms also for descriptions using adjectives. And we emphasized uh, the use of how much and how many with there was and there were and with other um, verb tenses because it is always important to keep in mind everything that we have learned. All right. So keeping all that in mind, I have this general practice activity for you. And it is like this. Describe the neighborhood where you lived when you were younger, about five years old. Hmm. What did it have? What was it like? So this is a practice activity in which we are using um, everything that we know about the past tense. And in particular, please try to use there was and there were to describe that place that you know. Remember, when you were about five years old, where did you live? What was there in your neighborhood, in your house? And include those elements uh, to describe that place that you are familiar with. All right? Think about it for a moment. Think about the place, uh, details that you could include. All right? And when you are ready, please pause my video. You can pause it now, actually. Pause my video, complete the activity, and then I'll join you again to compare the answers that you have with one that I have for you. All right? Pause my video, complete this exercise, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you for having done that. I really hope that you have completed your description of the place that you lived in when you were five years old. All right, let's see some sample answer that a girl wrote. She wrote, When I was a little girl, I lived in a very peaceful and quiet neighborhood. All right. I remember it had a big park with lots of trees. All right. So that is the neighborhood. It had a big park with lots of trees. All right. I'm imagining that place as the girl describes it. There were four swings and a big slide in the playground. There were, using their word there, four swings for quantity and a big slide in the playground. There was also a pond where lots of dogs lived. So there was a pond. We use there was because it's singular, a pond. My father took me to walk with him after work almost every day. Nice. My neighborhood had a school and several bus stops. Okay, so there were several bus stops in that neighborhood. I loved the whole area, but my favorite building was a toy store, of course, all right? It's great that we are using all the, the verb forms in the past here. That was a regular verb, loved the whole area, but my favorite building was, that is the verb form in the past for the verb be. It had lots of toys for children of all ages. I played with them and, of course, I wanted them all. Oh, I like this very much because it helps us 
review all these verb forms for the past and we have included some instances of there was and there were which was the objective of this of this set of lessons thank you thank you very much for doing that i hope that you picked some examples from uh, from this um description that i have here for you and now i have one extra thing to ask from you which is to listen to the native speaker and practice your pronunciation with her go ahead listen and practice please when i was a little girl i lived in a very peaceful and quiet neighborhood i remember it had a big park with lots of trees there were four swings and a big slide in the playground there was also a pond where lots of ducks lived. My father took me to walk with him after work almost every day. My neighborhood had a school and several bus stops. I loved the whole area, but my favorite building was a toy store. It had lots of toys for children of all ages. I played with them and, of course, I wanted them all. Great, thank you. Thank you for having practiced your pronunciation and remember that in this lesson, we seek to review the past tense in general, and we focused on there was, there were. Um, remember that there, there is always need to keep in mind what the form is for the interrogative uh, form, the negative. Uh, remember that we have expressions of quantity that is always important to keep in mind, and especially that we can differentiate the use of how much and how many, because that is going to help us um, write, uh, speak, um, and participate in conversations that describe the past and especially ask about quantities in the past. Thank you very much for having participated in this activity and I hope to see you in the next one.